guys today i'm showing you how to make matcha and ice cream it's so good you are gonna love it so the first thing i do is i start with two large frozen bananas and i just break those up and pop them into my high speed blender you can also use a food processor if you'd like and then i'm going to put in some matcha powder i make sure i use organic premium grade i get this in boise but you can find it locally or online just make sure that it's sourced from japan that's where you want it sourced from if you've never had matcha before it's essentially just the ground up leaves of the green tea leaf so you're getting all of those benefits it helps boost your metabolism it's full of lots of antioxidants it gives you like a nice calm energy without the jitters like coffee gives you so i just sift two teaspoons of that right on in there the sifting is kind of optional but i find that it really helps so i like to do that and then the next thing I'm gonna put in is some coconut butter, which is the whole white part, the white meat of the coconut blended up. And so it's not just the oil, you're getting all of that meat and all of those benefits as well. And I just find this makes it really like thick and creamy and so good, but it's totally optional. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. And you can also use coconut oil, like a teaspoon instead, if you'd prefer, or if you have that on hand. But I just use about a tablespoon, a little more, a little less of this and again totally optional but i really like it it's just delicious and then the next thing i put in is some spirulina this is also optional uh, spirulina is a blue green algae it's a superfood. it's awesome it's high in protein and vitamins and it's just it gives it a nice beautiful green color a little more pop of green so i put about a quarter teaspoon a little bit less usually and again totally optional you don't have to do it but it is full of so many nutritional benefits that why not and then I'm putting in some almond slash cashew milk that I made at home, but you can use whatever plant milk you'd like. And just use like a quarter cup, a little more, a little less. You can kind of, I start with that and then kind of add more if I need it. You don't want to add too much, but. And then always use your tamper. That thing's like the best. And then I just started on low speed and just work that shit until it's smooth and creamy. And it takes a minute. It seems like it's not going to work, but start on a low speed, use that tamper and just work it and it'll eventually come together i promise it seems like it's not going to work but it totally will and then you just want to make sure that you're scraping down the sides as you go along just to make sure that everything is getting incorporated and i kind of like to like smash it in towards the middle like that to help it blend and at this point i was like oh i need a little more milk so i just put in a splash don't add too much you don't want it to be like a smoothie you want it to be like ice cream so just add a little splash to help it come together and again just kind of like work in that shit <laughs> i don't know how else to put it but yeah it just seems like it's not going to work but i promise it will so just be patient you can see it starting to kind of like come together and turn into beautiful ice cream texture that is so delicious so that's kind of what it should look like at the end kind of depending on how much milk you added but nice and thick and creamy and delicious and you guys this stuff is so good and it's so good for you it's so delicious. So I just pop mine into my little coconut bowls that I love so much. They're perfect for like nice creams. And then I take a spoon and try to make my food look halfway decent, even though I'm really bad at food styling. <laughs> so I just kind of smooth it out. And then if you want to top it with some stuff, you can. This time I did some coconut shreds and some hemp seeds, but yeah, you can kind of do whatever you'd like. That's me trying to make it look good. So yeah, it, that's it. That's it. It's so easy, so delicious, and oh, it's just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy full recipes in the description. Make this. Let me know what you think. Love you guys.